I'm Alan Karshut. I'm visiting research professor at Abo Academy University in Turku, Finland. And I am one of those authors of a paper on entrepreneurial intentions that in many ways started the field to look at this area of social cognition. In the 90s, in the 80s and 90s, people had kind of said there is no entrepreneur personality. We can't find the gene for being an entrepreneur. So entrepreneurship, the entrepreneur got kind of kicked out of entrepreneurship. Norris Kruger and Mike Riley and I did paper on entrepreneur intentions testing theories out of social psychology and showed in fact that we could look at how this psychological model predicted the intentionality of students. It was in some ways ignored for a few years because nobody really thought that was an important area, but it is an example of if you lay the groundwork, the field does come. And what we found very effectively was that efficacy, feasibility, uh, social norms to some degree impacted students ability or desire to become an entrepreneur. That has of course created an enormous part of the field today that has generated many books, many publications and a huge number of people involved in it. If you look at just the paper the notion was how do you increase intentionality? How do you get people to want to intend to do something? We used to think that once we get them to intend they would act. We now know on other research that it really takes a lot to kind of get to a certain level when intentions will trigger behavior. So that's one area that we're still working at. But I think the starting point is you've got to get students to be willing to think of this as an option. And it's not just an attitude toward business, but it's an attitude to believe that they have the control to start a business. So I think that's one of them. It's also beginning to understand that you have to have self-efficacy to do this. And as you have intentions and do more intentions, your self-efficacy grows. And as your self-efficacy grows, then your intentions grow. So there's kind of a, a reciprocal model to this, which we didn't really explore in the initial study. But now, as you've gone along, that's what we've begun to find. So as a teacher, I think you can't just expect, I'm going to teach this, and suddenly they're going to have the intentions, and voila, you're going to have a room of 40, you know, Michael Dells. I only had one Michael Dell. So it's kind of like, how do you get to that stage? You have to kind of realize it's going to take a period of time over that process.